The topic of kids and car safety is in the spotlight today in Louisville as kids and cars join a lot of other people who are in town talking traffic safety. But this is Sue Oriema here to share a personal story on why this kind of topic matters so much. So introduce yourself to our audience and why this is important to you. So I got involved with kids and cars because 14 years ago when I was leaving my house, my then three-year-old darted out of my house around the back of my car outside of my peripheral vision and I hit her in my driveway. And thankfully she's one of children who survived. But in our country, 50 children a week are treated in hospital ERs because they were backed over because they couldn't be seen behind a vehicle. And at least two children a week die. And right week. now we're seeing, that's Kate, is that right? That is Kate. And so um, you had this, this moment that this lesson hits home for you. But now the goal is to have parents out there hear this go this lesson before it becomes real for them. Yeah, because I thought this could never happen to me. They had offered right. me bumper sensors on this vehicle. They didn't have cameras at the time. And I said, I don't need that. I'm really careful. <laughs> yeah. I'm such a good parent. Yeah. And if it could happen to me, it could happen to anyone. No one thinks it's going to happen to them. Right. And I know you brought this little poster here to show. We're going to aim it at that camera right there because this shows you how many kids you can fit behind a car they can all be in that blind spot. Right, so we use this visual to educate parents at safety fairs and conferences like this to underscore just how large that blind zone is. It's not a blind spot. Right. It's a huge area, and in this photo, 62 children were behind the vehicle and the driver couldn't see them. This is a screenshot from a video. So we want parents to understand there's a huge blind zone. When they walk out of the house, they need to walk around their vehicle before they get in, continue to scan their surroundings as they're getting ready to go. And we're very pleased as of May 2018, all new vehicles in the U.S. come with a rear view camera because we advocated hard for many years for that. And so we were talking about that actually during the commercial break, the power that this kind of advocacy and people like you sharing your stories can have. I know that now the transition is moving towards leaving kids in the backseat of a car. Because again, I think there are so many parents out there who think like you did, I'm never going to do this. I know when my kid's in the back yeah. of the car yeah. and it can be so easy to do. So now you guys are fighting to have that kind of same, similar technology, technology added to cars. Yeah, you know, Education is always a part of this. We do our best to educate parents. Today we're talking at a conference with other educators of parents and we get the word out as best we can. But the technology needs to be part of the solution. And unfortunately, the numbers are showing us that education alone is not going to eradicate hot car deaths. In right. fact, last year we lost 51 children, Man. which is higher than any previous year and much far above the average of 38 children per year. So education alone isn't going to do it, but right. having sensors in the car that would alert a parent if they inadvertently left their child in the vehicle or if a child climbed into the vehicle on their own and couldn't get out. We need that technology right. to really solve the problem. So obviously just scratching the surface on this topic, but as we go to break, tell the people out there if they feel passionate about this or want to learn more, how they can get connected with you guys. So if you go to our, um, our name is our website, kidsandcars.org, spelled out, and there are tons of resources, parent tips. You can read stories of what happened to other families, and it really, it can happen to anyone. The worst mistake a parent can make is thinking it can't happen to them. Sue, so thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thanks I appreciate for having it. me.